topic for today is about prepositions on, at, and in. A preposition is a word that links a noun, pronoun, or noun phrase to some other part of the sentence. A preposition can be tricky for English learners. There is no definite rule or formula for choosing a preposition. In the beginning stage of learning the language, you should try to identify a preposition when reading or listening in English and recognize its usage. So, we will use that one, for example, to the office, at the desk, on the table, in an hour, or about myself. Position is used to show directions, location, or time, or to introduce an object. Here are a few common prepositions and examples. Okay, let's move to on. On used to express a surface of something. For example, I put an egg on the kitchen table. The paper is on my desk. Used to specify days and dates. The garbage truck comes on Wednesday. I was born on the 14th, 14th of June, 1988. So used to indicate a device or machine, such as phones or computer. He is on the phone right now. She has been on the computer since this morning. My favorite movie will be on TV tonight. On used to indicate a part of the body. For example, the stick hit on my shoulder. He kissed me on my cheek. I wear a ring on my finger. On also can use to indicate the state of something. Everything in this store is on sale. The building is on fire. Okay, so let's move using at. At used to point out a specific time. For example, I will meet you at 12 p.m. The bus will stop here at 5.45 p.m. We can use also to indicate a place. For example, there is a party at the clubhouse. There are hundreds of people at the park. Or we saw a baseball game at the stadium. We can use also to indicate an email address. Okay, so you can use like, please email me at abcndfg.com. So we can use that in email. We can use also to indicate the activity. For example, he laughed at my acting. I am good at drawing a portrait. The last is in. In use for a specific times during a day, month, season, or year. For example, she always reads newspaper in the morning. In the summer, we have a rainy season for three weeks. The new semester will start in March. We can use also this one to indicate a location or place. So what is it? For example, she looked me directly in the eyes. I am currently staying in a hotel. My hometown is in Los Angeles, which is in California. We can use also this one to indicate a shape, color, or size. For example, the painting is mostly in blue. The student stood in a circle. This jacket comes in four different sizes. In also used to express while doing something. For example, in preparing for the final report, we revise the tone three times. A catchphrase needs to impress it in marketing a product. We can indicate also a belief, opinion, interest, or feeling. For example, I believe in the next life. Or, we are not interested in gambling. Guys, don't forget what we've learned for today is about using the preposition of on, at, and in. Again, this is Teacher Ada. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Please like and share.
Thank you and see you next time. Bye!